Hey everybody, Alexander Ford here, human behavioral expert. I'm down here in Santa Clara, California, attending Experts Academy with Brendan Burchard, learning how to more effectively share my message with the world. You know, there's a great opportunity here for you, but more importantly, I'd like to share an opportunity with you to help bring some success into your life and earn some cash while you're at it. Life is like a hurricane. Good morning, guys. It's Saturday, 8.30. Jen made coffee. How can life be any better than this? Okay, so in all seriousness, though, welcome to Daily Genius Episode 4. Today, I'm flying solo on this one. Warren is not working. It's a Saturday. He's a full-time employee. They don't work Saturdays. I get to go back to the era of creating my own video blog. I know that you guys have seen my production style in the past. It can be kind of quirky, I guess. Who wants to be in my downline, mother- That's exciting. Also, like a responsibility I forgot about until I woke up today, so it's a pleasant surprise. But I think that um, having the opportunity to do some video blogs on the weekends on my own will be kind of cool. Today is um, ice cream and nostalgia day. Gelato. gelato. It's gelato. I spent the whole day moving data around. Um, basically, we have a place on our network now where we store all the video that has lots and lots of space. And so I've been niffling through our history of video. which is in all over the place, basically. And um, long story short, I have way more than I thought I did. And I found all the stuff that I had forgotten about. That's hilarious. So, get ready for some excitement. Oh my god, Taj's kid is just like killing it. Oh wait, do I have a dance party with Totally, you kid? do, but you dance. So as you can see, um, the <laughs> when I was thinking about this episode a little bit earlier today, one of the things that I was thinking about is um, long-term plays. One of the values that we have at Measurable Genius is that we invest in long-term vision. It's like my default setting. We have video going back to 2012 for where I'm saying the exact same shit I say right now. This series of videos that we're going to show you tonight are experiments over the last five years of messing around with video. Basically by doing all kind of, I don't even know where we came up with these ideas or what the fuck I thought I was doing, but you know. Fail fast forward. Yeah, fail fail forward fast. Something like that. Three Fs. Triple F. Um, the, the next clip I'm gonna, the next clip I'm gonna show you is a clip where I'm sensitive about my weight. Here we go. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello everybody, my name is Alexander and today I am going to talk to you about Tony Horton's book, The Big Picture. First, I'm going to flash back and I'm going to show you a picture of what I looked like 18 months ago. Bad, right? I know. Good? It's on. And I want to test the store. Yeah. I'm going to shut this door. You ready? Hey everybody, my name is Alexander Ford, speaker, entrepreneur, and a human behavioral specialist. And I'm here to talk to you about the seven key components that when applied to small and medium business will achieve a tremendous success in terms of your application of specifically proven methodologies and in particular technology to the growth of your development both personally and professionally, blah, 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 blah. Can you stop that please? Sometimes it's really hard to justify eating real food when your house is literally full of like protein powder, supplementation, bars. I've realized that there's a difference between loving food and loving to eat food. Because when I'm not hungry, it's not that I don't, I don't want to eat more. I don't want more food. I do want to eat. That's not the same. Stop. Stop. Click this video. Click this video and listen to this shit that's happening. So we've used video to um, try to do a few different things. We've used video to try to fill events like you've seen. 
Um, we played with video in terms of creating content, doing stuff like book reviews, we did too. Um, I did my video blog. One of the things that actually began to stand out to me as we continue to provide video services and practice video in-house was that one of the most effective ways to capture video was to run live events. So we also did a couple live events. We've got those on video too. So let's check those out. <laughs> Weighing in at 165, <laughs> five, six. You may know him as the guy who showed up yesterday with dress pants, dress shoes, dress belt, and an old purple shirt with holes in it. <laughs> Alexander William Ford. <laughs> yeah! What about changing the behavior of people? Can I touch on that one? Employees. So, <clears throat> I was actually just going to mention that. He is in mind. How do I engage in an inspired culture and enable and embrace technology? to accelerate the development of those individuals. How do, I put, how do I put those two things together? How do I put a human being and a computer side by side and think of it from a perspective of user experience rather than from the perspective of my computer's broken, you need to fix it, or my staff are doing the wrong shit, you need to fix them. Automatically grow. Now your self-worth, your self-image, is waiting for you to be true to yourself. And it will erode every time you're not setting goals that are yours. I have a whole bunch of business cards laying around everywhere. I got that too. That's kind of your database. <laughs> That's an unorganized database, but it's still at least a database when you want to get names, phone numbers, and emails. It's like, okay guys, it's 1017. Before we jump into the last set of clips, what I want to talk to you about is this. The sheer amount of work it takes to manage video as a form of content production is staggering. It's absolutely staggering. Today I've organized 10 terabytes of footage. In order to produce this episode, we've hardly scratched the surface of all the content in our archives. What does that mean? That means that my full-time employee who's capturing more new content and archiving that every single day has his work cut out for him. In order for me to really take advantage of the content machine that is a video production media approach to running a small business, I have to be willing to invest in the resources that are gonna be able to help me. And I need help because at the end of the day, capturing the content is a full-time job. Editing that content is another full-time job. Extracting the transcriptions from that content is another full-time job. Turning those, turning those transcriptions into content as a writer is another full-time job. Taking that content and breaking it apart into different forms of media, design, creative, and then taking that copy and content and putting it together into digestible bites and segments and micro content pieces that you're gonna deploy across the social media platforms, that's another set of full-time jobs. You have to take this seriously. You have to find a way to find the time or find a resource or find someone who can help you because even just to produce this episode of the video blog took three and a half hours. It's a staggering amount of work but it's work that we love, it's work that we know works, and it's work that we're willing to invest in because we know, at the end of the day, this is how we get to build a relationship with you. So we wanna thank you for watching, and please stand by, the best clips are coming. Hey everybody, my name is Alexander, and I'm, I, I wanna thank you for RSVPing to my housewarming party. I was thinking about writing uh, some logistical email which would end up looking like some big wall of text in your inbox, and I thought, what could be cooler than video? I've been doing P90X, P90X2, P90X3, two years, this workout in 20 minutes, 207 calories, it's definitely efficient. This is Hardcore Cardio One.